Hello, my friends. Welcome to Forex VKS. Today is 21st of January 2022. I am back. I'm sorry. Yesterday, I could not do a video because there is some personal matter to handle. But don't worry, I'm back. And uh, today, I'll give you a special tip how to uh, pick the right currency to trade. Okay? So before that, remember to subscribe, like, share, and please leave your comment okay, in, on, the, on the comment section. So if you have, if you have any question, uh, uh, just leave a comment. Okay? So let's check out the introduction first before we dive into the news and the chart and the special method that I'm going to share with you today. So don't miss out. And uh, don't forget to share this with your friend. Disclaimer, be advised that I am not a professional financial consultant or advisor. I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay, let's check out what's going on with the news. News, news, news. Remember, we don't trade based on the news. We use the news for a, uh, to create a bias, right? To create an understanding of the market. But we don't execute our trade based on the news, okay? If, if trading the news, if you can make profit just by trading the news, right? You just sit in front of a computer, wait for the news to pop up, then you just buy, right? So easy, then everybody become millionaire, right? Okay, so yesterday, right, we got a drop of uh, unemployment claim, uh, increase in unemployment claim for USD and existing home sales also drop. This is not good for USD, okay? This data is not good for USD, but we know USD should be strong, right? Due to the inflation, right? So uh, on Wednesday, we got uh, CPI numbers. Strong CPI numbers for CAT. Okay, so CAT is getting stronger and stronger. Uh, uh, monthly CPI uh, meet expectation, but the common CPI, medium trim CPI is, uh, is ab above expectation. Okay, so we're expecting a strong, uh, stronger CAT. Okay. So what else do we have Friday? Nothing much, not too much happening Friday. Maybe the uh, core retail sales, you want to look at this uh, uh, cat core retail sales. If there's any changes, probably, okay, will happen during this uh, this hour in the evening. So uh, other than that, okay, not too much, not too much going on. Okay, let's dive into the chart. Okay, how do I gauge how strong is the currency before I choose the pair, right? I check out the currency by itself. Okay, so I got DXY, I got this uh, Euro, fu Euro futures, uh, British pound futures. So all these are the currency by itself. Okay, it's not traded against the other pair, but how strong is the currency itself, right? So let's see now DXY. How strong is DXY? Okay, DXY has been rebounding. Uh, so re DXY is a uh, is a uh, the currency index has been rebounding. So it looks like this one is quite strong. Okay. It has uh, it is now it has it, it is at this uh support resistant area. Looks like it's starting to break through. So, judging from the rebound here, right? Okay, US dollar is quite strong. So I mark it. US dollar is strong. So look at uh, euro. Okay, euro is on the way down. So euro is not so strong for now. Okay, euro right we got a rebound, a rejection over here. So euro on the way down. So it's, it's not too strong. So look at uh, pound. Pound also is not too strong after a rejection over at this area. A rejection at this area, one one point three seven. So looks like it's coming down. Maybe it's still got a little bit more to drop before it goes up. But pound in the long term is still quite strong. Look at uh Swiss franc. Okay, Swiss franc is mostly sideways. So Swiss franc, I'm not very keen in trading Swiss franc, right? You see the pattern here sideways. I'm not keen. Uh, so look at Japanese yen. Okay. Uh, okay. So Japanese yen has been rebounding quite strong. Uh, okay. On the way up now, it's having some resistance over here. Okay, so there is some resistance over here, but uh, Japanese yen overall is quite strong rebounding on the way up. Look at uh, Canadian dollar. Canadian dollar is even also is very strong. Okay, on the way up all the while. So uh, Canadian dollar also is considered a strong, uh, quite strong for now. 
Australia dollar is just sideways, it's not strong, it's not weak, okay, it's just sideways. So this one, right, if it goes again, the stronger pair, right, the stronger currency, probably US dollar, Japanese yen, and Canadian dollar, right, this one will lose out. Look at uh, New Zealand dollar, New Zealand dollar is on the way down, right, so New Zealand dollar is a, most probably is a weaker one, it's a weaker uh, currency for the coming, uh, for the near term, okay. Now we want to look at, uh, now we got the buyers, right? So the weak, the weak one are uh, uh, New Zealand dollar, Australian dollar, uh, Swiss franc, I'm not trading because it's sideways. Pound is not, not to say it's weak, okay? Not, not to say it's weak and not to say it's strong, maybe we, we keep, we mark it as strong, uh, because it's after this strong, after this strong uh, up, up trust, right? The, cat, the, the retracement is very minor, so we still consider it strong, so we don't want to go against the pound okay so euro euro looks quite weak okay so the, these are the weak one okay so the we want when we most likely want to trade if you are trading let's say euro and usd right okay usd i mark red okay use euro i didn't mark so the euro is a weaker one should be the weaker one this one should be the stronger one right okay so most likely you do, don't want to trade if you are if you are, if you are trading euro usd most likely we want to trade on the direction of the usd right means the uh, Euro USD, you should be selling instead of buying. Okay, so this is not not to say it will guarantee happen this way, but this one gives us a more understanding of the market, right? We want to understand the market a bit more before we trade. Okay, look at Euro USD. So now you understand, right? These are the uh, how do I uh, have a create a uh, these are buyers. Okay, before I go into the pair, before I prepare myself to trade the pair, I look at the future by itself, the currency by itself, and have a gauge what are the strength currently, okay, by itself, right? Okay, so I said Euro, USD, most likely now you want to sell, right? You see, right? You, you can see, right, the stronger USD and weaker Euro, right? You see the price has been going down, right? Okay, so we see, we don't want to buy this, remember, we don't want to buy this here. Why? We don't want to buy this here, right? We don't want to buy this, right? Because price is above our buyer's line, right? Okay, now price has been below our bias bias line. Okay, now this is our bias line 1.13753. So this now is a possibility to sell. Okay, so we are looking for sell opportunity. So the price yesterday broke through, went back and retest and uh, went through. Okay, so there is a possible sell opportunity. We managed to catch it. This is a this is a one two three continu continuation pattern, right? Okay, look at this. One, two, three, break, right? Continuation pattern. If you manage to catch this, okay, probably you'll hold it to a next support, next resistance line, uh, sorry, next support line, which is, uh, I didn't mark this. One point two seven, one point one two seven nine zero. So this will be the next, uh, next target. Next target, short term target, long term target will be one point one one nine four seven. Okay, so we do have a we, we do have a pullback here. We have a pullback here already. So there is a possibility for you to okay for you to sell towards this area and this area. Okay, because we have a pullback to retest and uh, a break a breakdown. Okay, so there is a high probability that the price could go down. So look at pound USD. Okay, pound USD. We are not trading this just now. We check the pound and the USD. Right, both are quite strong. Right, so you see. Price is now trying to find the direction. There's no uh, direction over here yet. So uh, as I said, price is above 1.35022. I will look for buy uh, because it's above our buyer's line. So we are still looking to buy this. So there's no direction here. So we are not uh, keen to trade this for now. Okay, possible wait for a direction first. Now price is consolidating. consolidating. So most probably the stronger one is USD, but uh, this one we are not keen. USD JPY, we know JPY is strong. Okay, JPY by itself is having very strong, pushing up very strong. Uh, okay, so JPY is strong. So USD JPY both are quite strong. Okay, both are quite strong. USD is quite strong. JPY is quite strong. That's why you see a turn over here. You see a pin bar at the bottom. You see a pin bar at the top, right? You see two pin bar over here. Because why? Because both currency are strong. So we are not keen to trade this, right? So price. 
probably going to be uh, uh, sideways probably here for a while. Uh, but the US, but JPY seems to be the stronger one. Okay, against all the other pair, right? JPY has been on a tear, uh, coming back these few days, very strong. So this one, let me see. I'm not trading this one. The price go through goes through one one three point five seven eight, right? Probably then I want to sell this. Okay. So uh, our bias line over here. Okay, USD Swiss franc. I said Swiss franc. I'm not keen trading Swiss franc. Swiss franc have been sideways. You can see. Here all the sideways price action, so I'm not very keen to trade this. Uh, now the price is consolidating, you know, also in the sideways pattern. So this one, I'm not too keen to trade this. Huh? USD cat, so USD cat also sideways coming into sideways. Uh, uh, again USD is strong, cat is strong, right? USD is strong, cat is strong, cat is strong, USD is strong. So this one probably okay. There's nothing, not too much to trade for now. Because both currency pair is strong. AUD, USD, okay, we look at uh, USD is slightly stronger, AUD is slightly weaker. So now, okay, so now we see a pin bar over here, right? So there is a possible sell trade to, to here. Okay, towards uh, 0 0.71739, which the price already reached here, okay? After, after uh, while I'm doing this video, the price already dropped around here. So there is a possibility, right? What you want to do? If once the price break through the buyer's line 0 0.71739, you want to continue to sell this. Okay, wait for a retest and wait for a sell opportunity towards a 0 0.71066. Okay, New Zealand dollar, USD, New Zealand dollar also. We just now we saw the with futures, right? So it's quite weak. So you see the price actually went through the this one, the uh oh yeah, New Zealand dollar USD, right? We took the sell trade over here. As I said that day, right? As I said, and uh, uh, not mistaken, on Tuesday, right? I said, wait for a pullback here. We can execute another trade. Remember, we can execute another trade over here. Okay, I did. I didn't manage to catch this trade because I was quite busy these two days uh, due to some, uh, yeah, uh, things that I need to follow up. Okay, so what you what we see here, right? You see, we got a pin bar over here, right? So there is another sell opportunity, sell signal over here. So now the price is going down towards zero point six seven one three eight. Okay, so there is a possible another sell trade over here. I missed this. Hopefully you didn't miss this. Remember I said that. Okay, once the price break through here, we want to see a retest and resumption, right? So this is a classic, classic one, two, three continuation. So let's look at the four hours, right? Okay. Okay, one, two, three. The first time it didn't break through, but the second time it broke through. Uh, so this is one, two, three continuation. So there's another sell trade over here, but now it's a bit late. If you want to catch now, it's a bit late to catch this trade already almost to the target. Okay, Euro AUD. Euro AUD, both are, both are weak, right? We check the uh, currency by itself. So both are weak. So you see price is just zigzag over here. There's no uh, not, not no big momentum either way. So this one, I'm not, we are not trading this Euro CAT. Okay, Euro CAT possible. There's opportunity. A uh, cat is stronger. You know, looks weak. So uh, we are looking for a price came back retest resumption. Look at four hours. Okay, one, two, three, break. Okay, so this one looks like the break is not so clean. The break is not clean. The price coming back. There's a big tail over here. So this one probably I will leave it first. Okay, because I don't want to continue to sell this because price is at support. Okay, price try to break through support now coming back up. So this one probably I'm not trading it because first of all the price is has been going down for such a long time right so uh, this is not a very good time to sell okay after such a big push right uh, it will be very difficult for the price to continue so this one I will ignore first I'm not keen euro CSH okay euro CSH we talk about another trade over here right so you should have uh, got another winning trade over here so we got quite a few winning trade this week okay we got an uh, NZD USD AUD USD if you traded the Euro USD also, it's of another winning trade. USD JPY, I missed out uh, on the trade. Okay, so this one I really hit target. Okay, another winning trade. So this one we have to wait for the next move. Most probably the price breakthrough 1.303735 retest resumption for another sell opportunity. We'll continue to sell this uh, due to the weakness of uh, Euro. 
Okay, Euro JPY. Okay, Euro JPY. We know JPY is on a tear now, very strong. So it broke through our bias line. So wait for a retest of our buy bias line for the sell opportunity towards the next target, which is one two seven, one two seven point nine four six. Okay, wait for a retest resumption for another sell opportunity. So there's another sell opportunity because JPY is strong. Euro pound. Okay, Euro pound. A sideways. A lot of sideways price action over here. This one I'm not keen. I'm not keen to trade this. Okay, too much sideways. Even though we have a break. Even though the price broke through, right? Let me see. Yeah, any chance to trade here? The price broke through. After the price broke through, we also have a dodgy over here. So this is very messy. I'm not trading this. Very messy. Pound JPY. We know JPY is very strong. So the price is coming down towards our support over here. So where is our bias line? Let me see. Where should I put my bias line? Uh, okay, here. Here is the bias line. So once the price break through buyer sign, we want to sell. Now we still looking for buy opportunity over here. Okay, one five four point zero three nine three four. This is possible. We are looking for buy opportunity, but be careful. Pound and JPY both are strong. Okay, but JPY looks like much stronger. JPY JPY looks like extremely strong. Okay, so so if you want to go, if you want to uh, execute a trade, any currency involving the JPY, right? USD JPY. Uh, AUD JPY, Euro JPY, all these things you will be most likely it's better to to uh, 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 buy okay to bet on the favor of the in the favor in the direction of the JPY right. Pound CSF, pound CSF, uh, CSF just not nowhere to go. Pound also quite strong. CSF also not too weak, not too strong. Pound also not too weak, not too strong. Okay, uh, neutral. So you see you can you can see all the neutral pattern here right. So this is just basically neutral, neutral pattern. Okay, so this one probably a break above this uh this consolidation area will be a buy opportunity. A break below will be a sell opportunity. So this is fifty fifty for now, but there is a possible trade here. Looks looks probably we got a two pin bar over here, right? Looks possibly it will it will go down rather than go up. Highly uh is likely to go down before it goes up. AUD JPY, okay, JPY is very strong, so the price broke through a consolidation. The price is consolidating over here. Okay, one, two, three. There's too many bars. Even this break, right? I'm not keen to take this. Remember, right? I said consolidation, one bar, two bar, three bar, fourth bar break, yes. Okay, fifth, sixth bar, I'm not very keen. This one, let me see the four hours, see how it goes. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, this one possible, you can take. Yeah, this one, there's a possible sell trade over here. But this one is higher. No. Uh, one, two, three. One more swing. There's a one extra swing. Okay, so there is a possible trade here. There is a possible trade. Uh, let me say. Let me put it. So this one now we want to sell this one. Uh, AUD JPY. Well, JPY is very strong, so there is a possible sell trade here. Okay, sell trade towards the next target. 80.538. Look at AUD cat. AUD cat, we know AUD is a stronger one. Okay, so AUD cat, we got pin bar over here, so there is a possibility to sell this towards this area. Towards uh, 0 0.89824. Okay, there's possible sell trade over here. Or even lower, okay, even lower towards the, 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 the uh, channel here, the channel bottom over here, so there is a possible sell trade. This one is a possible sell trade here on this pin bar. Okay, AUD and ZD. So AUD broken up. So and then ZD is definitely the one of the weakest pair. It's most likely the weakest pair. So AUD really broke through. So this one there is a possibility we can uh, uh we can uh look for buy buy opportunity at this area. Okay, buy opportunity at 1.06522. Okay, uh, a retest, resumption, okay, towards the next target. The next target most likely will be here. 1.07173. Okay, look at gold. Gold has broken through. Gold has broken through. Uh, we are looking for a retest over here. Price come back to this 1.830 and rebound. There's a possible buy opportunity, as I said. 
I'm not trading gold when the gold is a. Uh, okay, gold is in this in this uh, consolidation area. So now it's broken out. So there's a possible uh, possibility to trade. Some more you can see U.S. share market is dropping, right? U.S. indexes are dropping. Most likely market goes to risk off. Uh, uh, a sentiment. So once once the risk off sentiment initiated, so most likely this at the USD go, uh, we have an opportunity to continue go up. Uh, uh, you see the index. Oh my God! Look at that. Okay, look at the SPI Aussie A AUS two hundred. So big drop. So this one uh, we are hoping that this one could be a double top. Looks like double double bottom never didn't work out. Didn't work out. Okay, so this one we are looking to sell now. Any rebound? Any rebound we are looking to sell. Okay, any rebound at this area we are looking to sell. Okay, so now we are just looking to sell this. Sell, sell, right? Uh, seven three zero two or seven two three eight. Okay, if pri price come back, retest, resumption. We're gonna sell or price come back, retest, resumption. We're gonna sell towards this area. Seven one zero three. Okay, now we got a direction. Now we got direction. Okay, last few days we don't have a clear direction. Now we got clear direction. The DAX similar, but DAX didn't drop so much. Europe is still handling, Europe is still quite strong. Uh, DAX, we got uh, something like a head and shoulder, a minor head and shoulder here. So it looks like the bias line is here. DAX probably will leave it alone first. We may might want to go for buy trade DAX. We got, a, we got a few winning trade over here. We got losing trade. Eh? No, no, we got winning trade here. Remember here, we got winning trade here. And then we also got a winning trade here, right? So there is a uh, here depends. If you take profit over here, yes. If you didn't take profit over here, you might have a losing trade. So this one it depends. So we got a few winning trades here. So this one probably want to wait for a rebound over here. We still looking to buy this due to the price section still uh structured to the upside. So this one uh we we, we have to wait and see. Uh, wait and see. Nasdaq. So Nasdaq is Nasdaq US market is just dropping. So whatever now, what are the strategy must be, <laughs> our strategy should be just selling the US market, right? Sell, sell, okay? So we just look for sell opportunity now. Okay, so any rebound, any rebound, okay? Rejection, one, one, four, or the price goes higher, rejection at one, five, two, seven, nine, we are looking for sell opportunity, okay? Uh, same similar same thing Dow Jones okay Dow Jones now looks like uh, uh, Dow Jones uh, let me see Dow Jones is still structured to the upside so we are not selling this yet okay we are not selling this yet this one we see uh, we are not selling this yet okay so there's still possible buy opportunity why we are not selling this yet because we, this structure right uptrend structure is not broken yet we on next deck, right? You see the uptrend structure has been broken. Okay, this one not broken. We are not selling this. If you want to sell, look sell next deck. Okay, it's a better chance for you. Also, this one, uh, 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 the the SPI two hundred decks no next deck no. This one no SPX. Okay, SPX so broken structure. Okay, broken the structure uptrend structure. So we are looking to sell this one next deck. Uh, sorry, uh, S and P. Okay, so uh, let me see. Below here we want to sell. Okay, so below here we want to sell. So this one look for sell opportunity here. Okay, a retracement. Look for sell opportunity at this area. Four five five one. Okay, a rejection, retrace rejection at a four five five one. We are looking to sell. So this one our buyers now is looking for sell. Okay. Okay, before we end this show, right, I want to talk a bit about support resistance. So there's uh, quite a few of you ask me, how do we draw support resistance, right? Support resistance basically is a, uh, it's a level, okay? It's not actually a line, it's actually an area where the price got rejected, okay? Or the price rebound from a certain area. That, that means that this area is an area where there's a lot of supply and demand being decided over that area, okay? So let's say, for Euro USD, right? You first you have look at the structure, right? The structure is going to the downside. You see, 
how do we navigate how do we draw support resistance we from the current price right we look at every swing okay the swing of the price okay if we swing high the price reverse turn down right you see after this uh, euro uh, euro usd the price got swing up here okay we got a pin bar okay we got pin bar over here then the price start to swing down so this area will be a okay support resistant area supply and demand area where there is a shift of supply and demand okay so when the price is going up okay let's say here right the price is coming down right okay so there is more supply than demand so there's a lot of sell okay euro usd people buying the uh, usd okay, selling the euro so the price is going down right okay prior to that the price is going up okay going up means the more okay more uh, uh, investors are buying the euro than the usd right? so the price goes up right so there is a swing in momentum then the price come down okay so this one become a resistant area okay we call it resistant area because there's a shift in a uh, supply and demand so most likely when okay after we after this area has has uh uh after this area has been identified as a support resistant area right most of a lot of these uh traders right they will they will be they will do the similar thing they will draw a line over here okay so next time right when the price come back to here right okay the psychology is like okay so the price right previously got rejected as at, at this area okay so it's a resistant area where okay there's a lot of sellers ready to sell okay the euro usd pair a lot of sellers ready to sell here so they expect there is a lot of sellers going to sell here again okay because history always repeat itself right not guaranteed but most of the time it repeat itself so uh give me one second huh? okay so this one now we mark it as a resistant okay resistant is a when the price goes up Okay, it got turned around so this is a resistant area okay what is the support support is when the price goes down right the price swing the price got rejected means it rebound from this area so you see the price came back here so uh, the price rebound from this area right a few of this area uh, this is a bit tricky here because there's many okay there's many lines over here you see there's a support area over here and there is also a support area so this is not a very good place to to trade when you see a lot of support area right the price are uh, turn uh, keep on turning close to each other right a lot of a uh, bottom over here so this uh this area is not a uh, very and the price goes up also you see the price got retested over here many times so this is what we call the sideways price market sideways sideways action so this is not a very good time very good area to trade okay so where else let's go up and see let's go up uh, right here there's another support resistant area another support resistant area most of the time right support resistant area view align with the previous swing okay you see the previous swing coming back here okay now we got another swing up okay which align with this previous swing okay you see broken support become broken support become resistant right so this is another resistant area so how we how i draw it i how I, if i get a fresh empty chart right i will navigate from where from the latest price means i start from here okay i will go back up re reverse back i see a swing away here a market then i'll see another swing come back down a market another swing up market then i go back up okay come back here uh, come back to here the price you, the price reverse right at this area so i mark it so the price come back here and the price reverse i will mark it okay so now the price come back here you see here right Come back here the price reverse okay so you so align with this area you see and one two three three top right your line right so i will draw it over here right so then the price also came down came up here came back down came up here came back down you see there is two swing over here right there swing over here okay the price came up got rejected now the price come back down also get rebound okay so this is another area that you want to highlight so now okay one goes back up here Okay, it come come to here, then it reverse down, so it's all aligned with this, right? Align with this area. Okay, so it goes up, this is the top, so it comes back down. So uh, most likely, I want to pull this down a little bit because it's aligned with this this two swing. Uh, okay, uh, there's possible one more over here. Okay, the price. Okay, so don't look too far. Okay, don't look too far. Maybe okay, this is the current trend, right? You look most likely you want to mark your support resistance on the current downtrend okay don't look at too far don't look at one year two year back and mark the trend over here 
there will be too congestion, too many line. Okay, and all this congestion, maybe you want to remove some of the line here. So this one, let's let's look at line. Let's look at this one, right? It's one line, two line. No choice. This one we have to draw two line over here. Okay. So this one highlighted. This one. Okay, so most of most of the support resistance line, we really got it. Okay, so now you see price came back to this area, came back to retest the support resistance line, right? And the price get rejected. Remember, okay. Uh, rejected. If you want to buy, you want to sell, uh, sell this, uh, uh, uh. We want to sell uh, this uh, currency pair, right? We want to uh, initiate a sell trade, right? We want to look for a rejection, right? At resistant area, you see a rejection at resistant area. The price come back down, so there is a possible sell opportunity. Let's look at four hours. You can't see it. Look at the four hours. Okay, you see, right? You see very clear, right? The price broke through the support, came back and retest, and now you got a possible sell opportunity, right? So this is how we navigate, how we draw the support resistance and also how we okay how we draw the uh, support resistance line right maybe we add another one okay let, let's add another one uh, let's say uh, uh, AUD USD okay AUD USD let put a let let's do another one so you can okay you can catch it easily Okay, AUD USD. How are we gonna mark this? Okay, support support resistance line. Very easy. I'm doing this live, uh, so we, I'm navigating backwards. Okay, so when the price come back, there is a level over here. So I want to match this level. I don't want to mark it here, and it doesn't touch this level. Most likely a support resistance line, right? We have to we have alignment with the previous price action, previous swing. Okay, it is not a single swing by alone by itself. Most likely. The previous few days, okay, there is another swing that align with it. Either there is a, a low or previous high that align with the current point, right? So you see this one, I mark here, you see it's a line, right? Okay, it's a line, an area here. Now the price come back down here, also there is a support resistance line over here, but I, I mark here because you see a line, a line, a line, a line with this, okay? So there's a line, one more here. So there's possible one more here, a line with this one, okay? And the bottom here, so I'm... I'm going backwards, okay. I'm marking this going backwards now. I'm going backwards, going up here. Okay, so there is possible one more here. Okay, you see the price swing here and come back down, right? And also align with uh, the area around here. Okay, so it goes back up here, comes back down. Okay, it comes back down and it swing back up. Okay, and it also align with this. Okay, okay, so I got my all my support resistance line just like that. Okay, we don't going to go any further because now the, all these are not relevant. We want to look at the re relevant one. Okay, so these are the relevant one. So now, okay, so now what are the place we want to sell here towards here, right? After a breakthrough, we want to also possible sell towards this area. Okay, so now we got all our support resistance line mark. Just simply, just like that. Okay, so don't forget to share this channel with your friend. If you have any question, don't forget to uh, put your comment, put your question over there. Maybe next time I will share uh, some other basic uh, fundamental a foundation how to navigate the chart maybe some of you are new uh, uh, beginners who are who are who, which one of you are beginners put uh, put your comment down there if you're beginners okay if you want me to share more on the of course I I, I don't use a lot of indicators right indicators are the uh, what I call it uh, indicators right if you're starting with a lot of indicators right most likely you 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 your uh, the time for you to take from realizing right uh, that uh, trading is most important thing that you want to implement in trading is simplicity it means simplicity the indicators actually make decision more difficult okay but here I only focus on support and resistance and the price the less I need to the, the less I need to uh, uh, think right the easier the trade will become when you have a ton of indicator, that's why you don't see, I don't use, I don't have any indicator except this one. Okay, maybe a lot of you want to ask, what is this? This is a 89 period moving average. Okay, 89 SMA. I use this 89 moving average is to tell me 
currently the market is the trend is uh whether it's up or down okay of course i use market structure i identify by market structure but this is just a confluence okay a confluence to me telling that the market momentum e even though i see an uptrend now okay this is a very strong uptrend uh, because it's already broken making higher high but there is a longer term okay longer term means uh, in the weekly right this is still a downtrend okay in the weekly this is still the downtrend in the daily yes it is moving up but in weekly still a downtrend so there is still a weekly pressure moving this is a long term this is a short term i look at the uh, structure but longer term right i will look at this 89 this will re this is to remind me that the weekly structure is still a downtrend okay so therefore there is a sell opportunity around the 89 uh, moving average okay so most likely today uh that's it for today okay so maybe coming next week i'll talk about a bit more about uh uh, some other strategy that I use, but indicator, uh, I tried many indicator, I tried many indicator, you know, I, I've been trading for six years now, okay, the more indicator I put, right, the more difficult to trade, okay, I have thrown out all indicators, I only use price section, you see, every indicator have their pros and, pros and cons, right, if you use one indicator, it works sometimes, it doesn't work sometimes, you use RSI, it works sometimes, it doesn't work sometimes, you use MACD, it works sometimes, it doesn't work sometimes, all right, right, so, end of the day all the indicator is trying to add on to this to the price okay which trying to tell you something about the price about the price why not i just direct look at the price and i interpret the price directly instead of looking all the lagging indicator right this why i don't use indicator and uh, uh hopefully okay one of these days one indicator probably yes okay one or two one indicator probably if you are not sure how the market is, uh, how what market is uptrend or downtrend, maybe you want to be like me. You add one, uh, this uh, 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 eighty nine moving average, okay, period moving average, or uh, RSI to to have to add some confluence to it. But once you get used to it, okay, you ignore all the indicators, right? Okay, so this one, this indicator, I don't use it normally except sometime. Yeah, I do want a confluence by using this indicator, the eighty nine moving average. Okay, so let's, that's it for today. Let's wrap up today's show. So don't forget, don't forget, do me a favor. Subscribe. Like. Share. And comment. Okay? So every, remember, every day at 11 a.m. Singapore time, we have this, uh, uh, my, uh, my show be uh, uploaded. Okay? So see you again uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, right? Tomorrow is Saturday. Today is Friday. So uh, tomorrow we will be doing a weekly forecast. Okay, so don't miss it. Remember to subscribe. Okay, and remember hit the hit the bell so that when I, whenever I upload a video, you get notification on your YouTube app. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye.